Hey everybody, David Andrews here. I've got a really interesting clip to share with you today. It's from uh, Dr. David Martin and Kim Martin. They are producing a show every week called The Butterfly of the Week. And you can see that their uh, video is queued up here. And I'm gonna share with you a brief clip out of the November 22nd, 2021 uh, show. And it clearly states, and he has this factually documented that any employer who is enforcing a current uh, government mandate of any kind related to the current situation is breaking the law. And this is very, very powerful, conclusive proof. So if you watch this, um, I would highly recommend sharing it for all of my colleagues who are part of a corporation who are currently being forced against their will to do either uh, wear a mask, take a test or be injected this is the concrete proof directly from the law that clearly states that it is uh, unlawful what they are doing to employees. So please take a quick look and see what you think of this. Conversations about the Fifth Circuit came back and said to me, yes, but my employer says, because I made a lot of statements. I made a lot of statements about what the Fifth Circuit said, what the Constitution said, what the law says. I made a bunch of statements and none of your employers, none of them. And I mean, not a single employer has verified that there is a legal institutional review board in any clinical trial. Not one of the employers has actually ensured that 21 Code of Federal Regulations, section 50.23 and 50.24, not one of them has verified that they've actually reviewed that to confirm that they are enforcing anything that even remotely re resembles something that is legal. The fact of the matter is the statement I made on Monday and Tuesday of last week with respect to the Fifth Circuit decision and with respect to all of these matters with respect to mandates. And this goes for the Department of Defense. This goes for uh, private employers. It goes for the OSHA mandate. It goes for any of those things. No one is authorized under any circumstance to coerce an individual into any action period, full stop. That is, there's no exemption for private employers. Let me say that again. There is no exemption for private employers. It is illegal under US law to force or coerce a behavior that you would not otherwise do. That is a violation of law. And if you have an executive order, if you have a mandate, or if you have an employer who actually sees otherwise, they are breaking the law. That doesn't mean that they don't tell you that they're going to do a mandate or enforce a thing. That doesn't mean that. What I'm saying is it's not legal. And by the way, it's not legal means until Congress changes the Code of Federal Regulations, Section 21 dot, or 21 Code of Federal Regulations, Section 50 dot 23 and 24, until those laws are changed by Congress. <laughs> And they're the only ones that can change that law, by the way. Until that happens, there is no executive order. There is no private mandate. There's no Department of Defense mandate. There is no mandate anywhere on earth that waves the fact that you cannot be coerced into participating in an experiment. Period, full stop, end of sentence, end of paragraph, end of chapter, end of book. And as many people as took issue with the statements I made on Monday and Tuesday of last week with respect to this, the fact of the matter is on this matter, I'm not kind of right. The law has been for the last several hundred years very clear on the fact that an individual can not be coerced legally. Yes. Coercion is illegal, just like blackmail is illegal, just like anything else, it is illegal you cannot, under any circumstance, be forced to participate in anything that is an experimental program when, and even worse than, when the protocol itself for the experiment has been itself violated. Remember that this protocol was unblinded, which means we will not have an independent placebo-controlled clinical trial. We will not ever have it, and we won't have it because they unblinded the data. There it is. Conclusive, simple, easy to understand. In less than four minutes, he clearly lays out the fact 
that these employers who are issuing mandates or enforcing mandates for any part of the mandate are breaking the law. So uh, please take a look at this, uh, share it with all of your legal departments, with your HR departments, with your employee relations departments, because what the corporations are doing is clearly illegal and they need to be held accountable. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.